what's up guys in this tutorial we'll study about jump statements so what are jump statements and why do you need them uh, suppose this is a line of uh, line of code as in there are five statements in your code and based on a certain condition you want to move from the second to the fifth statement as in you want to skip the third and the fourth statement so for that purpose you need jump statements uh, to directly move from the second to the fifth statement okay basically there are three types of jump statements the break continue and go to the uh, we'll start with the break okay suppose uh, in your program you have a for loop and inside that you have an if statement and inside that you write a break the break statement okay so what does this uh, break statement does it basically causes the program to come out of the come out of this for loop as in it breaks the for loop it's not compulsory to have a for loop there it can be while do while it can be any loop okay in this example what would happen uh, you have a for loop running if this condition becomes true there could be any condition if, if this condition becomes true uh, you have this break statement so this uh, due to this break statement you come out of this for loop so always remember while working with the break statement there must always be a loop as in you cannot write a break statement anywhere it should always be a part of a loop if you don't have a loop and you write a break statement your com compiler would throw an error the okay so let's try this break statement in our program okay what we'll do uh, we'll take input from the user as in we'll take the input of integers from the user and as soon as uh, a user uh, inputs a number suppose 30 uh, it would stop taking the input so we'll write this uh, take input till the user inputs till the user enters 30 Okay, I'll write first my basic structure we'll first define a variable for storing the user input okay we don't know the number of inputs that the user would uh, enter so we'll have a while loop as in an infinite while loop and we'll write while one any non-zero number represents true so it's an infinite while loop so we'll just write a print statement stating enter integers and after the while loop we'll write printf stating you and entered 30 so stop so no more input okay so we'll okay how would this work we'll take the input from the user and as soon as it enters 30 we'll break out of the loop so we'll write here if i is equal to equal to 30 we'll break okay before that we'll take an input from the user or uh, we'll write a scan of statement let's see scan f as it's an integer we have we have percentage d comma ampersand i okay so let's say this let's uh, see code we'll give it a name break okay now let's execute our file 
get saying enter integer suppose my first integer is 90 second integer is 10 third is 3 fourth is 22 suppose fifth is 30 and we press and enter okay it's saying you entered 30 so no more input so yeah uh, as soon as uh, we are, as soon as we enter 30 this line gets executed this condition becomes true first i is equal to equal to 30 this condition becomes true true then there is a break statement so it breaks out of this loop as in the while loop the infinite while loop and we ca uh, came here and up so our program execution stopped okay the next type of jump statement is the uh, continuous statement okay suppose that i have uh, these lines of code a for loop and inside i have a, a if statement and inside which i have a continue so what does this continue does uh, basically it causes the program to skip uh, skip the rest of the loop as in it causes the program to skip this this statement 3 in the current iteration and and causes a jump to the next iteration as in suppose i have a for loop running for 5 times in the, if in the third iteration i have this uh, if statement uh, turns out to be true and it uh, and it occurs a continue statement then the statement 3 won't occur and it would again jump to the for, for loop for the fourth iteration okay so let's try this uh, out in our code I'll create a new file okay we'll have a program which prints the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 and then 8 9 10 as in it skips 6 and 7 so I'll write a program to print numbers from 1 to 10 except 6 and 7 uh, firstly I will write my basic structure okay one way of doing this is uh, you can have a for loop running from 1 to 5 and another for loop for 9 and 10 so this could be one way of the first for loop from 1 to 5 and the second for 8 9 10 uh, this could be one way the second way would be by using a continue uh, statement and you can do it in a single for loop suppose I have a variable in tie and I'll have a for loop from 1 to 10 for i is equal to 1 i less than equal to 10 i plus plus and I'll write here ok how would this work uh, if i is equal to 6 or i is equal to 7 I must uh, not execute uh, I must not print the number so I'll just print i first uh, printf percentage d comma i ok so this printf statement uh, must execute for numbers except 6 and 7 so if i is equal to equal to 6 that means i is 6 or this is a logical OR operator or i is equal to equal 7 we must have a continuous statement uh, yeah let's execute a file and see um, uh, before that I need to save it I'll give it a name continue okay yeah we are getting the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 then 8 9 10 uh, so when the, when i is equal to 6 or i is equal to 7 this statement 
is skipped due to this continue statement this continue uh yeah one more thing you can always have you can have a continue statement only inside a loop without if you have it without a loop again uh your compiler would throw an error okay the so the third and the last type of jump statement is the go to statement okay in c you can label any statement as in you can give it a name and then i can write label a sem a colon and that statement okay suppose i have given a statement one uh suppose uh there are many such statement as in this is the first statement with the label the second statement doesn't have a label anything that's a normal statement the third and suppose i want uh, all this part of the code to run again or execute again so i can write a statement as in go to and that label name uh, at present my label name is i'll write something like this label underscore name so you can't have any name so label underscore name so what would happen here is that the statement 1 would be executed statement 2 would be executed statement 3 would be executed then you will have go to label name as in it would jump to this statement again Th that is a statement 1 no uh, so you might be thinking well, why do i use a go to statement uh suppose that you are bored of using loops so the effect of loop you can create using a go to statement it's not a compulsion to use but yeah th it's just a jump statement so let's just try it out in our code okay uh, we'll do this uh program to print even numbers even numbers from 1 to 20 we had done using for loop uh, now we'll uh, do using go to statement okay firstly i'll quickly write my basic structure okay uh so we'll first write the statement which which would actually come inside a loop then we'll work on with label and all those stuff uh firstly i need a variable i so i'll write int i is equal to it would start with 1 so i'll write 1 okay now the part which would con con uh, come inside a loop firstly the print statement before the print statement i'll check that if it is an even number so i'll have i if i modulo 2 is equal to equal to 0 then only i'll print percentage d okay then i'll increment the value of i uh then i need to create a uh, loop effect so for that i need a go to statement here so so where should i go for i uh okay before the go to statement i need to check what's the value of i as in i want the numbers from one even numbers from 1 to 20 so i'll check if is i less than or equal to 20 then only i'll jump okay so i need to jump from here to this if statement so i'll write go i'll name this if statement with a label okay label only or i'll give it a my label you can give it any name you want okay i'll have my label so after this it will jump here so let's just uh, for save a file go to okay we'll run a file 
ओके या इट्स गिविंग मी द इवन नंबर्स फ्रॉम वन टू ट्वेंटी एज एन टू फोर सिक्स एट एन एंड सो वन टू ट्वेंटी सो या दीज वर द थ्री जम्प स्टेटमेंट दैट इज ब्रेक कंटिन्यू एंड गो टू या सो दैट्स इट फॉर दिस टूटोरियल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वन प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल लाइक आर वीडियो एंड डू प्रोवाइड योर सजेशन फॉर आर इम्प्रूवमेंट थैंक यू